Hi guys, let us understand today what is AOP. I mean, what is aspect oriented programming. So, so we call it's a AOP and that is called aspect oriented programming. So, uh, we are having OOP object oriented programming right so object oriented programming uh, deal with class right and object isn't it while AOP deal with aspect what is aspect or we can say concern okay so there are several concerns we are having. Like we can say transaction, uh, we can say uh, logging, okay, uh, profiling, or I can say uh, tracking, session tracking, and security. So these are the things which cannot be expressed in object oriented programming right so what we have to do here you can see this we have to understand what is AOP why we should use AOP and what are the AOP concepts and what are the capabilities and goal of AOP okay I mean spring AOP so what is AOP it's a aspect oriented programming complements OOP by providing another way of thinking about program structure while OOP decomposes application into a hierarchy of objects and classes and all right AOP decomposes program into aspect or concerns right so you can see here clearly AOP basically deal with aspect and concerns while OOP uh, deal with objects and classes right so what is the aspect and concerns as I said here it could be the logging profiling tracking session tracking and security kind of things transactions management and all which never uh, be talk or discuss in OOP this enables modelization of concerns such as transaction management, right? Okay. That would otherwise cut across multiple objects. Such concerns are often termed cross-cutting concerns. Okay. So, we always take care of all these concerns in the AOP. So, why we should use the uh, AOP aspect oriented programming provides for simplified application of cross cutting concerns example of cross cutting concerns as I said it could be logging profiling transition management security auditing uh, locking event handling session tracking okay so all these are the cross cutting concerns we always take care in the AOP so it is okay and I can say here that uh, it's a AOP is a new programming approach to address cross-cutting concern in an application when these features are implemented with the business logic code the codes tend to become complex and data redundancy increases right therefore we need to separately implement these features from the business logic code and that reduces the complexity of the code and in turn we get the performance so it will improve the logical modularity right so these features affect more than one module and are therefore called cross-cutting concerns okay the sole purpose of AOP is to separately program okay and implement each features from the business logic code resulting in a clear and understandable code okay
So AOP is a programming paradigm to support and complement the programming paradigm known as object oriented programming i mean oop although oop is uh, still one of the most frequently used programming paradigm right for software development so i cannot say that uh, i can say like aop is a neither its replacement nor it it's try to do so something like that right it's taking care the some of the cross cutting concerns so let us have a more look on that see this aop concepts what are the concepts we are having we are having uh, certain concerns like uh, joint point advice uh, point cuts and aspect right even there are some other uh, concepts we are having like weaving target okay proxy so concern so what is aspect here so aspect it's nothing but it is a concern so cross cutting concern in a program called cons aspect sorry okay so apart from the aspect there are some other concept also used in the aop terminology these concepts are used in the combination of an aspect and address a particular concern okay so sometimes we combine this what is concern here the concern is a feature which represents a particular property different from the programming logic which needs to be addressed effectively okay uh this includes uh, security transaction management logging and performance monitoring all this could be the concerns right okay now what is the joint point you can see this joint point here that it is a well defined point during the execution of an application okay so certain actions like method calls object creation uh, field access and exception throwing are performed during program execution right so we can insert additional logic at joint point so example of joint point is what method invocation uh, class and field initialization object initializations field access all these are the uh, joint points okay what is advice so the code that is executed at the particular joint point is the advice right so certain code we are executing on certain uh, joint point okay so what are that uh, advice we are having we are having before advice after advice and around advice so before advice uh, advice executed before method executions if you want something like uh, before executing this method this should happen so we are having before advice and the same thing is like after advice is executed after a method call so let us say i am calling this method and after getting this method invoked uh, this works should be performed so we are having after advice so it can be executed after the successful invocation of method or after throwing an exceptions and after invoking a joint point so around advice is executed during a method call see here which executes around joint point so it is the most powerful type of advice because it can bypass the execution of joint points right this is executed it can execute the capture joint point either the same or different arguments it can execute the capture joint point more than once each time with either the same or different arguments that is what around we are having even there are some other advice like after throwing or after returning 
so after throwing i can say advice is executed only after an exception is thrown during a method execution so once the exception is thrown this will get called after throwing right so there are some like we are having here i can say another is the after throwing right this is one another we are having after returning right after returning so after returning does what advice is executed only after returning from the method execution so once return okay this will get executed right now next is the point cuts point cuts is a point of execution at which the cross cutting concern are applied okay so collection of join point that is used to define when advice should be executed by creating point cuts we can gain fine grain control over how we can apply to the components okay so whenever the program execution reaches a join point an advice advice is executed i mean the code which is associated with the point cuts will get executed okay so the point cut is an expression that describe a set of join points clear when a set of join point is selected during a method invocation an advice is applied so join points point cuts and advice add this the dynamic properties of an aspect okay so all these three represent the dynamic properties of aspect uh the general point cuts types are it could be like call executions target arguments okay so a typical join point is a method invocation so calling any method right a typical point cut is collection of all method invocation at a particular class point cuts can be composed in a complex relationship to further constraint when advice is executed now what is aspect as i said it is a combination of point cut advice and could be the join points also right uh before going to that i just try to explain one figure here let us say you are having a program even say the program is even here okay this program is having two methods okay consider i have a method 1 and method 2 okay so this is my method 1 and method 2 so consider i have method 1 and i have method 2 clear now suppose uh, this is related like this and this is having this okay like that so i just try to omit this okay now same i am just doing here okay so now uh, there is a uh, some exception point i have at this place so consider there is a uh, some 
exception point okay exception point here also there is some exception point in the method okay so we can say there's a two point cut here i can say this is a p1 point cut and this is my p2 point cut okay uh, what is that p1 point cut i just write here point cut and this is my p2 point cut okay now so as i said even in which two methods m1 and m2 are executed the point cuts p1 and p2 are created at exception point for applying any advice so finally a joint point denotes two previously declared point cuts right so i can say uh, these two are the joint points okay ah uh, just a moment consider this is my joint points okay joint points fine so i can say uh, joint points and the point cuts p1 p2 along with the method execution m1 m2 right so the joint point consisting of the method execution m1 and m2 along a program even right so the corresponding point cuts are p1 and p2 at which advice are made okay i hope you understood this there are some other concerns we are having i mean concepts we are having like target proxy bibbing and all okay so uh, let us see some capabilities and goal of spring aop so capabilities and goal of spring aop is what spring aop is implemented in pure java there is no need for a special compilation process Spring AOP does not need to control loader hierarchy and is thus suitable for use in Z2E B container or Z2E container or application server. Spring supports interception of method invocation. Field interception is not implemented, although support for field. Okay, interception could be added without breaking the core Spring AOP APIs. Okay. so field interception arguably violates object oriented encapsulations okay we don't believe it is wise in application development okay if we require field interception consider using aspect so we can do that so spring provides classes to represent point cuts and different advice type spring uses the term advisor for an object representing an aspect including both an advice and uh, advice and a point cut targeting it to a specific joint point so uh, this is what we have a uh, capabilities for aop and the goal of spring aop okay so next we have to understand the programs or 